Hey friends, welcome to Stock Swing Crypto Plays. Today I'm talking about NVOS, Novo Integrated Sciences. We should have a short squeeze soon, at the very least a gamma squeeze. I've been tracking this daily and we have not had any type of big run yet, but the stock has been consolidating <clears throat> and charging up and building and getting ready to run. Now, what I want to talk to you today about is the cash inflows and outflows, okay? The net inflow, net outflows. And it's very mysterious what's going on. But before we get into that, please hit like, subscribe, add notifications, share the video with a friend. So let's get started. So if we take a look at the cash net inflow outflows, the last, I think it's nine days in a row, we've had negative outflows according to the reporting data. So we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine days, the last nine trading days in a row. But interestingly, we've had one, two, three, four, five, six green days on the price. So if we've got nine red days on the net inflow outflows, we should have nine days down on the price as well. They match up. They should match up. We shouldn't be down close to a million dollars on that um, outflows and be up 7% on the price. That makes so, no sense. So basically what I'm telling you is this price is being absolutely manipulated and the buy orders are not being brought on chain um, because the price would go up too high too fast. And there's a lot of manipulation going on. And the way, another way you can know this is from the fails to deliver. From the newest information we have, we're at 1.3 million shares failed to deliver. I believe that was published on January 13th. I know that's a long time ago, but that's the newest information we have. And they only put it out once in a while. They don't give it to you daily. And the interesting thing about those fails to deliver is prior to that, we were like 10,000 shares only failed to deliver in that range, all the way up to 1.3 million. Like that's insane. What's going on? So that's why the price is not running yet and it hasn't popped off yet because they're parking orders and they're keeping the buy orders off chain and eventually they're gonna have to bring them on and this thing's gonna run. And I saw the same thing happen with GNS. Like every day, GNS had red inflows. The money was according to on-chain data said, people were selling, 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 but that wasn't the case. They were manipulating the data. Same thing with NVOS. And what happened was after so many red days in a row on GNS, they had a massive green day, another massive green day, and the thing shot up to the moon. It was up like, I don't know, 1,500%, and then it went up to like 2,000% gain. And, you know, I made a lot of money on GNS, and I recommended everyone to buy it. You can check my videos. So that's it on NVOS. Um, I told you about the fails to deliver. I told you about the manipulation on the cash inflows, outflows. The other one thing I wanted to tell you, if you look on January 23rd, we had positive green inflows of $17,000. That's a little tiny microscopic green um, day. And we were up 5.74%. The day before on January 20th, we were we had $62,000 of inflows, still a tiny number, positive inflows, and we were up 11%. Now what's gonna happen when we have, when we have like, 300,000 or 500,000 or a million or 2 million or 5 million positive inflows, this thing's going to short squeeze to the moon. And we will get those inflows once they allow these orders that are parked to be on chain. And it will happen, friends, okay? So that's that. And then if we take a look at uh, the short interest, it's not the short interest is not super high. So they're not manipulating this with short interest. We're only around 20%-ish on the short interest, or I'm, I'm sorry, on the cost to borrow. 20% in that range on the cost to borrow. So it's not super high there either. Um, and uh, short interest were around 50%, okay? Uh, but the real reason NVOS hasn't popped off yet is because they're parking orders and they're hiding the buy orders and eventually they're gonna have to put them on and they're going to have to deliver those shares that they have fails to deliver on. So they're gonna have to be, be purchased on chain and we're gonna see a spike and we're gonna see either a gamma squeeze or a short squeeze on NVOS. Just as long as we don't get some kind of stupid uh, reverse split announcement, uh, as long as we don't get that anytime soon, we should have our short squeeze or gamma squeeze, okay? And you'll be able to make money, nice fat bag of cash, and you'll be able to pull out of this stock if you want to. That's my goal. All right, guys, hit like, subscribe, and notification, share the video with a friend, comment some bullshit below. Appreciate you all.